this is Eric again and I'm with Lieutenant Colonel John W. Anderson and it is the 20th of February 2012 a long time since uh, World War II John's gonna go through the, each album and there's four of them total and we'll start out with book number one so John thank you and okay I can say this is one of four albums that I made during, during World War II and uh, uh, First one is the pictures here in, are main, mainly in uh, Orlando, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, England. We were started out in Orlando <coughs> in uh, about uh, May or June of 1943. Uh, I just graduated from flying school in April of '43. And we went to Orlando to train in night fighting. This first picture is a picture of our squadron that was first organized. Of course, we were flying A-20, which we designated as a P-70, because it had airborne radar. And here we are in a kind of hamming it up a little bit in a tent in Dunellen, Florida. Uh, we simulated uh, c conditions during combat in three different fields, Orlando for, for a month, and uh, Don Allen for a month, and Kissimmee, Florida for a month. And here, like I say, we're just sort of hamming it up. This is uh, Jim Mogan, my radar operator, myself. Leonard Kaler, Sea Flight Commander, and Louis Bose, his radar operator. Here again, we have our 45 automatics. We thought we were pretty hot shots with the 45 automatic on our side. And uh, here's Don Alley, and uh, he was in our flight. He didn't have a radar operator at that time. Later on, he did. And here's uh, Louis Bowes, Leonard Kaler, and myself. And here we are actually trying to simulate like we were marching along and then we we're going to have a, a, a strafing by a German aircraft, but they used a cub to simulate that. This wasn't very, uh, a, a whole lot of training, but I think they just wanted to get us out and let us exercise a little bit. This is my brother, Robert Anderson, in Nashville, Tennessee. After I graduated, I spent about a month at home, and uh, this picture was made there in Nashville. This is your home in the background? Oh, no, that's a little cabin. This was actually a, um, an uncle and aunt of mine, a mother's sister, and they built a little cabin in the background, but you can't see the house. And here is a, this is one uh, crew. Now here's a pilot, radar operator, line chief, and the mechanics on the plane. I, I didn't get a picture of mine, but anyway, this is another one. Uh, I won't try to recall all these names. And here's our uh, operation. This is uh, Lee. Uh, let's see, what's it? Lee, I called. I mentioned that before. Gene Lee, uh -huh. he had B flight, and this is R.A. Anderson. He was in operations, and this is Jim Montgomery. Oh, okay. But we called him Pop. He was a, a, the chief radar operator, and there's some of the mechanics of. Let me straighten this out just a bit. Okay. Okay. This is uh, the line chief, and. Uh, Ernest P. Luke, he was our uh, uh, 
maintenance officer, kept all the, the crew chiefs in sh shape, and then... And, and of course, four um, uh, oh, 50, 50 caliber machine guns, that's... Out of the A-20. Out of the A-20. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. And then... Now here's Don Alley with Lee Dorner, you mentioned, mm -hmm. in this picture. But he, like I say, he didn't have his permanent RO till later on. Dorner just happened to fill in with him right here. Here we are getting ready to leave for uh, <clears throat> New York, out of Orlando, catching a train. There's uh, and, uh, Lee Dorner again. Dorner's in there. <clears throat> and uh, I didn't look at the pictures in too much detail at the time. I'm looking at them more now in detail than I ever have before. Here's Captain Ted Spellis. He was the uh, A flight commander. And there's Lieutenant Colonel O.B. Johnson, our CO. And uh, Pinkerton, he was our uh, adjutant. And this is uh, now leaving and going to New York, right? It's loading, loading on the train. Uh, that's Jim Mogan and Bob Tierney and Don Alley again. And I don't know who this fellow, he knew us and he, he got off the train. He didn't go with us, but he spent a little time with us. There we are again. Tierney, Alley and myself, and here we are on the countryside, up up around Charmy Downs, which is in northern England, uh, and uh, I just I was just walking around and saw these children. Now, you don't have any, uh, obviously there's a, there's about a 3,000 mile gap here between this picture and this picture, and... That's right, yeah, yeah. right. And so, you didn't yeah, take any pictures on the boat? I didn't, uh, like I say, I regret that I didn't make more, but I made none on the boat. I wish I had. What, which ship was that? that you were? It was a Mauritania. Mauritania. It been a cruise ship, passenger liner converted to a troop ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, this was a, in northern England. We just kind of walked around the countryside. And, and, and I did some research on Charmy Downs, and that airfield still exists. And I found some photographs, which I'll, I'll interlace with the movie here, of Charmy Downs Airfield. Some school children, of course, they were very happy to pose for me. Uh, here's Ali again. He gets in a lot of pictures here. Mm -hmm. Must have liked him. And uh, this is one of our uh, staff officers. I can't tell you whether he was... Oh, I know, he was a assistant uh, intelligence officer. And here's Ernest Luke, that's, uh, he was our, uh, chief of aircraft mechanic. I mean, he was over all the aircraft mechanics. Uh -huh. Now, most of these people have died, and I, I haven't come up on Morgan. Uh, well, he he died too. Excuse me. Uh, I better not try to recall which ones. But here again, we just cutting up again using. Mm-hmm. And I'll I'll flip the photograph during the movie. Okay. So more countryside, and this is uh, Paul Smith, Bob Tierney, Don Alley, Paul and Tierney, Bob Tierney. Uh, became aces, shot down four. Here we are again in the countryside. A whole lot of daffodils uh -huh. and uh, dandelions too. And we got to go into London. Uh, that's not the... That's a Big Bun there and Parliament building. Yeah, I've got a picture of the... Uh, And then, uh, this is Piccadilly Circus. Of course, they had the—I don't remember exactly what that was—that monument, but they had it 
covered up so in case you get bombed. So. Yeah, I, I think I have a picture of that, uh, but I can find one on the web to see what it looks like today. Interesting here, the Wrigley's uh, gum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can't remember exactly what this was. Of course, there's Jim Mogan and myself. Uh -huh. Kind of acting like we saw a plane coming or something. Has our has our flight, and these are some scenes around London. And there's Kaler and Boast. That's our sea flight commander. This is the uh, uh, House of Lords. No, I want to say the not the castle. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh -huh. I've actually never seen it. Yeah. I've been in London and I yeah, have never seen never it. Did. Never got a chance to go that way. I regret I didn't make a picture of the other two flights like this, but that's. Uh, and and like I said, I'll take these and I'll I'll rotate them for the movie's okay. sake. Okay. This is a Roman bath hmm. in England. Uh -huh. R.A. Anderson. Uh, he, he was sent back, uh, let's see, I think later on back to the United States to work with the war bonds. And uh, I didn't have a fingernail clipper and I asked him to buy one for me when he got back. And he did. He uh, sent it to you? I think it cost 20 cents then, so. I still have them, but they're not very sharp. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciated him doing that for me. Oh, well, that's okay. Excuse me. Took quite a time for us to put all this garb on and then walk down to a field, but uh, well worth it after we got the pictures. And and uh, that's exactly what you would have worn in combat, right? Where you're that's, you're that's, these are some pilots that we met that they not in our squadron. They were at another field one day that we had gone to flying school with, and they were serving in different capacities. I can't recall what they were doing, but I think Kayla and myself, yeah, were in there with them. And here's a, a friend of mine that used to be in the 105th Observation Squadron in Nashville, Tennessee. He was in the photo section, and uh, so we we got together over there. Now, did you did you take this picture I here? We did somewhere over. I think it's that's in England there somewhere. Uh, I can't recall. Sorry. It's okay. And th this is Charmy Downs here, is, right from the this air. This is Charmy Downs. Uh -huh. This is the airport there. And uh, one of our pilots got killed here in a training flight. Not, not flying a, a... A Black Widow. Black Widow, no. Yeah, it was it was flying a, uh, uh, like an AT-17, a twin engine, uh -huh. used in advanced training. And uh, now th this is a kind of, I can't see all this here, but I, I was told at the time, at the time of the invasion of Normandy, all of our plans were grounded. Of course, we weren't to be in it anyway, but it's kind of a little bit ironic that on that day, all, this lists all of our planes, and they were all grounded, so mm -hmm. it wasn't, wasn't too good. Uh, Jim Mogan was a very sociable like fellow and he met this, this is a doctor and his wife and uh, they had us come up to their uh, home during one weekend and treated us very royally. I wish I could remember them and I could maybe try to keep up with them but 
things like that. Didn't mean, you didn't think about it at the time. And this is somewhere up around in the Charming Downs area. Uh, that looked like an old uh, fort, like or some kind. But I, I haven't researched it, try to find out what it was. And <clears throat> I can't remember this pilot's name, but he was in the RAF and he was attached to our squadron to uh, give us some guidance on night fighter tactics and he stayed with our squadron about three or four months. Of course this was in England and his wife, we got to visit him and he was a very nice fellow. I wish I'd have remembered his name. I could have looked back and found out what he what happened to him, but sorry. Uh, that's uh, well. I can't right off hand. I can't think of his name. I should because uh, I'll maybe come back. But here's Don Alley. I really made a lot of pictures of Don, didn't I? That's his radar operator, and he, he happened to be an enlisted radar operator, which was kind of unusual, but. Uh, His name's Bob, but I can't. Well, I'm good as. Here we are again. Mm -hmm. Now, now, was that the same situation with, with this fella? And well, this is Louis Bose, who is a radar, but this was his. Uh, One of the mechanics. Uh, assistant crew chief took okay. care of the plane. Now, here's Herman Ernst and. Uh, Anyway, they, they rode bicycles a lot, and they took these bicycles over on our plane when we went over to France. And uh, I think they gave them to some family over there. But uh, now that's not that's not his uh, regular radar operator, so I, I can't recall his name. Here we are again. That's our commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel O. B. Johnson. Was that his? Uh, would that That's was that his his plane? His plane? No, 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 nothing. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But he he dated the same lady the whole time he was in the service, and then later married her. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he later he stayed in the service and later became a, a major general. And uh, here's some more of our different people. Uh, this is the, the same uh, enlisted uh, radar right. officer. Yeah. And I guess that he was the envy of all the enlisted guys probably yeah. because he actually got he, to fly the planes. Probably, they might have commissioned him later on. I don't know how that happened. And this is another British fellow, but I don't know who he is, but he's... And here we are. That's a CO uh, there, a CO right? CO riding a uh -huh. jeep, kind of uh -huh. cutting up a little bit. Uh -huh. Who was this fellow here? Go back one. Uh, this guy. Do you remember him? Right off hand, I can't. He was an RO with some other <coughs> pilot in an A or B flight, uh -huh. but I can't. Here's old Don Alley again, and uh, he seemed like a really nice guy just from the pictures. They're very, very friendly. It's a shame. And there they are, cutting up again. There's, <laughs> that's uh, George. Uh, he was an operations officer. Uh, it's, it's amazing how. I and then. And Pinkerton, he was executive officer of the squadron. And that's the CEO there that's again. That's the CEO mm -hmm. again. <coughs> George Reynolds. Mm. I feel like I really accomplished something when I can remember the names. Oh, and here's uh, Johnson and his Montgomery, your <laughs> relative. <laughs> yeah. Pop Montgomery. Wouldn't that be something, huh? Yeah, would he? 
That's when you first said one coming, that's the one that popped in my mind. Really? Yeah. And uh, there he is with his his crew chief. That's and, a nice picture of your plane. And that's a picture of our plane. I don't know why I didn't make more pictures of it, but that's, we were down in southern England getting ready to go uh, after the invasion. We, we got over there about a month late into Cherbourg, uh -huh. but the uh, invasion had already taken place. We thought we were going to be in it, but here's Morgan and myself and my crew chief. And oh, I, that's your crew chief, yeah, okay. And I cannot remember his name for the lake of it. And here's what uh, Warren Thompson's book depicted as my, my radar operator in one picture, and another picture as my crew chief. But anyway, <laughs> this is Master Sergeant Tom Spate who helped me get in the 105th Observation Squadron in Nashville and taught me a lot about photography. Here's Morgan and myself again. I don't know what happened to these pictures. They're awful contrasting, but uh, I think I mentioned before, I made all these prints and, and took a lot of film with me with my 4x5 speed graphic, but for the life of me, I cannot remember where I developed the negatives and printed them, but uh, but you still have all the negatives. I, well, I still have them, and I thought of something I'm going to do next time. The, the family that I lived with, which I'll mention later on, uh, I believe I did some printing and developing, or developing and printing, in our room that we, that Jim and I lived in for a while, and I think. The family helped me get set up to do that. I'm going to contact the boy sometime later and try to find out if we did there. Mm -hmm. I had one of our fellow pilots just fly so I could get a picture of him with the British English background. He has a flight line that shows all of our planes, but it's hard to see which ones belong to the mm -hmm. pilot. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, Jim and I, Jim Morgan and myself, bought these albums in England, and we, I guess we bought enough because I didn't fill them all. But anyway, they were pretty, pretty nice little albums. The pictures slid in here. They were kind of hard to, to put them in. Had oh, okay, they slide between. I was wondering yeah, how you got those in there. Yeah, they were, and then had to kind of slide them around to keep them. The water is showing. Uh -huh. So that's the first book. Okay.